I'm here with Richard Dynan from Pulsar Fusion. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, first of all, just kick us off. Tell us a little bit about what Pulsar Fusion is doing at the moment. Pulsar Fusion is a British aerospace company. Uh, we're exhibiting here our electric propulsion systems. We build really powerful electric propulsion systems for uh, satellites. Um, and that technology is on display here and ready to fly. Uh, we also build rocket engines. So we build hybrid rocket engines as on the stand behind us is being uh, uh, demonstrated. And we also invest in liquid hydrogen propulsion too. So we do a lot of testing in the UK. We also tested uh, abroad. We've tested in, the, in a snowstorm. We do a lot of uh, rocket testing. But our overall sort of moonshot is we put a lot of our money into research of nuclear fusion propulsion. Point being, it gives you really, really fast propulsion speeds, maybe a thousand times more than some of the electric devices behind us. Uh, it's a long research project. We're very passionate about it. Um, and, and, you know, we put our own money there, but at the same time, we build products that are distributed and built today. So that fusion propulsion moonshot, if you will, what's been the response to that from other players in the industry? Well, we've been doing it for about 12 years. So at the beginning, it was lightsabers, you know, raising eyebrows. Um, but now it's changed. I think people have really, you know, we've seen fusion work. I think everyone has got their head around that actually it's coming and if therefore if we can do it for for energy we can definitely do it for propulsion uh it's now just if we can do fusion we're going to be doing fusion propulsion and we can do fusion so it's inevitable there are very few companies working on it um a couple of big ones in the states and we partnered with recently with one uh i think it's the for us it's the perfect place to be we people love turning up to work um Obviously, we have to sell satellite engines in the meantime so that we can uh, keep paying the bills. But at least we're doing that and not just constantly raising money for the, the one day fusion project. But I think it's, it's you know, it's, it's, uh, it's coming up really quickly now. You know, the, it's all falling into place. All the partners here, you know, components are catching up. Regulation is catching up. Um, launch weights are catching up. So it's super exciting. How long do you think it'll be until you have your first paying customers for one of your fusion propulsion systems? Look, it, by the time that this, it, there's a thing, when this technology is uh, working and active, we kind of, that's, that's not the exciting part. The exciting part is when it's still raising eyebrows and where if you can demonstrate it half works, then a lot of people, because it's not, uh, because of propulsion, it's not necessarily about going to Mars, going to Saturn. It's about getting somewhere in space faster than someone else. If you can get to point X, which you don't know where that point might be, much faster than your competitors, it's worth trying. And uh, so there's a lot of dispense application. There's a lot of just international interest is just does this tech work? So we build it in our facility in Bletchley, very big, big reactor. And we just test it out so that we can actually supply real data rather than just theoretical papers. We can show people how plasma behaves under electromagnetic confinement in the, in the form of a fusion rocket. So you can imagine we love doing this. And uh, now we've got very serious um, players who are very interested in it too.